humor is a great way to reach people that have contrary ideas. You know, in the comedy world, it's overwhelmingly progressive liberal, and I'm coming from this limited government, get off my lawn mentality. But if I can make people laugh, they're much more apt to try on my ideas that I think are fairly common sense for a little while. So when I'm doing stand-up, if I get up and I say, you know, liberals are very open-minded about things they already agree with, <laughs> and I, I get some laughs from, from people that are, you know, fairly progressive liberal NPR listeners. Um, and, and their wives. And, and their wives. They're, they're kind of willing to make the journey with me after that. And in the meantime, all of the, the brow-beaten conservatives and libertarians that are used to getting made fun of finally have an advocate up on stage kind of giving their point of view and giving their perspective. And what is the name of the book? The name of the book is From the Monkey Cage, Fixing Politics Through Wit and Cartoons. <laughs> I've heard the title before. Where, did, where have I heard that title? It's an H.L. Minken quote that I've taken because he's dead, and so I can't be in trouble for that. Uh, the, the full quote is, Democracy is the art and science of running the circus from the monkey cage which I thought was a very apt thing. I, I worked for Congress, actually, before I became a stand-up comedian, and uh, I, I think that that's a very, very good description of how Washington works. Of you're in the thick of things, and you're really in the monkey cage when you're doing that. Were you funny in Congress? I was almost prohibitively funny when I was working in Congress. That was It's like telling a joke at a funeral. So, yes, it's, well, it's one of those, when you're working for Congress, your, your ego is, is subsumed into the greater ego of the congressman you're with, and, and you can't really smart off to a constituent if they say something inaccurate or, or, or uh, bad. It's much, much easier being a comedian because you can make fun of everybody under any circumstance and not get in trouble as long as you avoid certain words. So where can people see some of your stand-up comedy? Do you tour? Uh, are you coming to Charlottesville or Central Virginia anytime soon? And where can we find the book? Well, I would love to go to, to Charlottesville or Central Virginia. Usually I'm between Washington, D.C. and New York, where I'm based. Uh, I, I'm in D.C. maybe once every three weeks or so, but could, could do a, a southern tour at some point and then swing back to Oklahoma, where I originally hail from. In the meantime, people can check out my website, which is www.mightyheaton.com. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks so much. Good. Thank you.